Welcome to the ITIL4 Specialist High Velocity IT or HVIT training course from One World Training. About One World Training. We are a global training business simulation and training company having its offices in the USA, UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many more countries globally. We provide training in IT business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other topics for individuals and organizations. We deliver our courses in five ways, public classroom based, online from home or work, e-learning, a blended approach of self-paced e-learning with in-person support for instruction or at the user's location with on-site team training for private and government organizations. We are an authorized training center and endorsed by leading global professional bodies such as PeopleCert, Axelos, Exin, PECB, etc. My name is Murali Dar Gadam, in short, Murali. I'm a certified trainer and course advisor for various areas such as ITIL, project management professional, project in controlled environments, managing successful programs, very service management, and others. I have worked for several years in IT and project management with global teams across the globe. I use my real world experience to deliver my trainings by providing clarifications and examples. I supported diverse industries in leading global organizations. I'm a computer engineer by education and also certified as a trainer and coach. I worked in IT service management, software, project and program management. One World Training would first like to acknowledge Axelos for having used their guidances in our training materials. The ITIL 4 certification scheme. It begins with the ITIL Foundation, followed by two qualifications, which are the Managing Professional and the Strategic Leader qualifications. In order to reach the Managing Professional, after completing the Foundation, one would have to achieve four certifications, namely Create Deliverance Support, Drive Stakeholder Value, High Velocity IT, which are three specialist certifications, and also Direct Plan and Improve, which is a strategy certification. On the other hand, to achieve the Strategic Leader, Two certifications are required, the Direct Plan and Improve Strategy Certification and the Digital, IT, Digital and IT Strategy Leader Certification. The master is after that. Those who hold at least 17 credits in V3 can write the Managing Professional Transition Exam and obtain the ITIL4 Managing Professional Qualification without having to write the remaining five certifications or exams. By 17 credits, I mean there should be V3 expert or below a V3 expert with at least 17 credits because the V3 expert would have at least 22 credits. Every exam has a publication from Axelos. And since we have six different exams, we have six different publications. Foundation, Create, Deliver and Support, Drive Stakeholder Value, High Velocity IT, Direct Plan and Improve and Digital IT Strategy. There are also practices publications, which are separate. And given that there are 34 practices at this time, there are 34 publications for the practices. There is no separate publication for the managing professional because this qualification is attained by completing the other certifications as explained before. How do the publications connect with the exam syllabus? Each managing professional exam includes content from the, from the publication. For example, this one high velocity IT exam will include some content from that publication. And it will include some content from some of the practices. For example, some content from the portfolio management practice and some content from some of the other practices for the HVIT exam. Which means not all the manual is applicable for the exam and also not Everything from a practice guide is applicable for the exam, which means there is some examinable content and some non-examinable content in each of the publications and each of the practice publications as well. The managing professional exams, uh, which means excluding the foundation level exam are based on 
questions at Bloom's level two and three. Level two is about showing understanding. Level three is about applying the concepts. The foundation exam is at Bloom's level two, understanding and Bloom's level one, recalling from memory. The exam duration is one and a half hours. For those who are non-English native language, they get some extra time. So please make sure when you are registering for the exam that you indicate your native language and you automatically obtain extra time during the exam when the exam begins. There are 40 multiple choice questions, which means there is one correct answer from the four given options. There may be some questions where two of the options may be correct, but still you have to pick up one combination of the answers. No negative marking, 28 correct to pass from the 40. It is invigilated, closed books without any case studies. Every question is a separate question. This module is for those IT managers and practitioners working within or towards the delivery of digital products and services. It will help anyone involved in digital services or working on digital transformation projects in particular. And those working in or migrating to lean, agile or DevOps ways of working or highly automated environments. This will provide you with the skills and knowledge to understand the rapid nature of the digital enterprise and how to co-create resilient and valuable digital services at speed. Understand the benefits of a less centralized approach to IT service delivery. Utilize the latest digital technology to optimize and end end user services and maximize investments. Balance working with complex adaptive systems and flexible processes that can adapt to changing environments. Demonstrate how to integrate the digital product lifecycle with ITIL's core operating model to meet and exceed business goals. And utilize new ways of working and approaches to enable small incremental steps and effectively work with new and complex systems. Here we are in the high velocity IT course while there are others in order to obtain the managing professional qualification, which can also be obtained using the transition qualification. If you are already V3 certified with at least 17 credits. The learning objectives. Understand concepts regarding the high velocity nature of the digital enterprise, including the demand it places on IT. Understand the digital product life cycle in terms of the ITIL operating model, the service value chain that is. Understand the importance of the ITIL guiding principles and other fundamental concepts for delivering high velocity IT. Note that the guiding principles are not part of the exam syllabus. Understand the four key characteristics, the five objectives and five key behavior patterns of high velocity IT. Understand how to apply high velocity to the service value chain and value streams and how to apply the four dimensions to high velocity. Understand the concepts of high velocity culture. Become familiar with techniques associated with the five high velocity characteristics. Note that the techniques have a huge amount of marks allocated. Approximately 24 of the 40 marks are coming from the techniques. And of the 24, about approximately 17 are from the practices associated with those techniques. So be aware that the techniques have a very high value in the exam and the practices associated with those techniques. And the, the syllabus for the exam does include content on the various practices. And uh, there are 17 practices in total. The topics which we covered in this course are the following. And they are split into various sections. So you will see a separate recording for each section, apart from this introductory recording. Section one, the high velocity nature of the digital enterprise. Section two, the digital product life cycle, the ITIL operating model. Principles, models and concepts for HVIT. Achieving value with digital products using techniques. This will be in two parts, valuable investments, fast development, and resilient operations, value co-creation and assured conformance. There are practices in two parts and more practices again in two more parts because we have 17 practices. 
Therefore, sections four, five, and six together are worth about 24 marks from the 40 in the exam, with about 17 marks coming from section five and six of the 24.